In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this glitch animation using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Joel here. And as you can see, this is the final output. This is the one you saw in the intro. Actually, I have a couple more. Look at this one and let's play this. This was the taste file. It looks good, but the original image doesn't work that well with the effect. We also have this one. This is my favorite one. And also there's this one, uh, also really cool effect. Okay, these are all done the same way. There is no difference in the technique. So I'm gonna go and close this one because it has too many layers, also this one. And we will actually learn on, no, not this one, close it. Okay, we will learn the effect on this one because this has only eight frames and it's pretty easy to understand on this one. Forget about these layers, they don't matter that much. Now to create the effect, go to file, open and open any photo that you want to turn into you know glitch uh, the photo is active now if you don't see this timeline here just simply go to your window and then select timeline and you should have this thing here once that is done go here and make sure you have create frame animation and not the video timeline this one okay after that double click here and unlock it and then click on create frame animation on this box now I'm going to show you how this timeline actually works but before we do that we need to create some kind of effect so I can show you the difference and to do that activate your marquee tool from here right click the first one and make sure here you have second option selected so you can create multiple selection like this do you see this and this and this fill entire photo with a lot of little and big selections like this. Once you are happy with your selection, just simply press Ctrl J. Now it looks like nothing happened, but if I turn off eye of layer zero, you can see we have copy of all those selected area. And this is exactly what we need. After that, go to filter, distort, and then select wave. Now in the wave, you can do a lot of things. It's like unlimited possibilities, just play around. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna select square. And in the scale, I'm actually gonna use a lot of vertical and not at all in anything horizontal because I want you know line that go like this that is done now you can play around with wave length and everything it, it all looks awesome so for this I'm just gonna hit ok and after that turn on your layer 0 so we have this really cool effect and you can go filter and apply wave again if you want more effect I think this also looks really nice so as you can see, we have two different layers, layer one, where it looks like this and layer zero, which is original photo. Now, how does this timeline actually work? Make sure this layer is active. Then we have to make a copy of it. So click on this little icon here and we have a copy. Now, if I click on one or two, both looks the same. Why? Here's how it actually works. Let's say right now, number one is active. So it will register whatever is active here whatever you can see here. That's the basic and easiest logic. And when I activate layer two and I activate this one here, it will register whatever is visible here. So now when I go back to number one, it looks normal. And when I go to number two, it looks like it has a glitch effect going on. So whatever is visible here, when your uh, frame is active, it will register. So if I go back to my layer one, and I also turn on uh, this here and now this is this looks like this so now if I go to one or two they both look the same I hope you understood it okay so let's say we have layer one I'm gonna hide this one let's register this one and for two I'm gonna turn on my layer one and register this one so one and two both are ready now I'm gonna add one more frame to do that just again click on this one and we have extra frame this time I'm gonna go and again activate my original layer and then press Ctrl J. So we have a copy and this time I'm not gonna make any selections. Just simply go to your filter and again apply wave or you can do manually distort and wave. So it looks like this, hit OK, beautiful. After that, right click and select blending options and in the blending option, turn off your R. So you have this really cool looking effect and hit OK. So now frame number three has this effect. So let's go again. Number one, uh, it's the simple one. Activate number two, it's the little bit complicated one. And number three, let's turn it on. We have all the way crazy effect. So one, two, three. 
Now here's one important part. If you keep applying effect after effect non-stop, it will not look that great. So we are going to add some intervals so the effect has really good pacing. For example, this is done, this is done. Now for the fourth one, instead of applying another new effect, I'm just gonna go and activate my layer zero again. So we have one, normal, two, we have glitch effect, third, even crazier glitch effect, number four, we are back to normal. Now I'm gonna go and apply another copy like this and this time we will apply new effect. So same process but in between from time to time keep adding the original one so you have better pacing. So let's activate the number 5. Activate this layer 0 and again press ctrl j and rename it to. After that go to your filter blur and then select motion blur and 70 to 80 percent for this photo is fine but you can experiment however you like it's gonna work hit ok after that again right click here go to blending options and then again turn off your sorry r so we have this really cool effect hit ok then select your move tool hold your shift key and move this to the left side like this now select your marquee tool again and make selections like this Make sure when you make the selection, your motion left layer is active. Once this is done, go to your filter, distort and again go to wave. And this time, instead of vertical, I'm gonna apply a lot of horizontal effects. So go and apply lots of horizontal effect and hit OK. So you will have this really nice pixels and to remove the selection, go to select and deselect. This is done, now let's another copy. So click on this little button, we have a copy and I'm gonna add interval. So turn this off and make sure this is active. So we have interval again. Now I'm gonna make one more copy. Go, click, we have a copy. This time, again make copy of your layer zero and rename it to motion right. Now just like the last time, go to filter, blur and select motion blur. The motion blur just uh, 82, hit okay. Again, right click and then blending options and turn off your R. Actually, you can turn off any channel you like. Every channel will give you different effect. So it's up to you what you like. So I'm gonna turn off R, hit OK. And this time I'm gonna select my move tool, hold my shift key and drag it to the right. So we have, you know, different direction. That is ready. And just like the last time, activate your marquee tool, make lots of selections uh, randomly. So on frame 7 we have this registered and after that again make a copy of it and we are going to add interval. So turn it off and we have layer 0. Now all the hard work is done and now we have to make sure that every frame is showing proper image. So let's go to layer 1. It's, it's wrong one. So I'm gonna go and hide both of this and make sure this is active. Then go to layer 2. This looks perfect. Then let's go to layer 3. Perfect. 4 we have interval fine now 5 we actually don't want interval here it was actually motion left so turn it on then go to your 6 another interval then 7 uh, this is motion right and then 8 another interval now let's play it and see how it looks so if I activate my layer 1 and hit the play button it looks good but it's super fast and we have to slow it down so first of all I'm going to activate my layer 1 go here and here I actually want 0 0.3 so I'm gonna go to other and here I'm gonna type 0 0.3 hit OK and now for the rest of them go and make it 0.2 second and for the last one I'm actually gonna make it 0 0.1 second so now activate this one and then play it and see we have this really nice pacing and if you wanna see it in the loop go here in the ones and turn it forever and then activate one and play it. See? And if you wanna make it a bit faster, I'm gonna go and make this one point one second. So it picks up a little bit faster. So the animation looks fantastic. Now I'm gonna show you how to save your file. So let's say you did all the hard work. Now go to file, then go to export, and here select save for web. And here you will have a lot of options as you can see. So here select GIF. And at the moment size of file is really big because photo is very high resolution and 5 MB for a GIF is little too much. So I'm gonna go to my W uh, here and then make it 500. 
Now as you can see the size didn't change and for that just simply click on your preview. So it will open your default browser and show you how it looks uh, on a web page. So as you can see it looks sweet. Close it. Okay that's ready and the size also went under 1 MB which is completely fine for any social media platform. Looks good. Then hit on save button and here rename it anything. So let's say glitch tutorial file and then I'm gonna go save it. Now here in my folder as you can see we have this glitch tutorial file and when I double click on it the final effect is ready and it looks superb. So now you know that glitch animation is actually really easy to create doesn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes and I also hope that you guys learned something from this video. If you did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions feel free to ask me in comment section below and if you want to check out more videos by me you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop